Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are now looking at the last topic of this particular certification or I can say the last chapter of this particular certification that is continuous improvement. So there are several aspects which we'll be covering as a part of this chapter. As a part of this chapter we'll be having just two topics to cover in our curriculum that is 8.1 options for improving the test automation and 8.2 adapting test automation to environment and SUD changes. In this tutorial we are talking about the first topic 8.1 options for improving test automation. To begin with we are talking about different parameters, different aspects, what an automation may look forward to have synchronized with several aspects of the SUT. In previous chapter also we have understood a lot about understanding the environment, different components which may impact your automation test with respect to the SUT. Sometimes it is also equally important that SUTs which frequently changes may have a return impact to your test as well. Now considering this parameter and the concept we may require to continuously improve a test automation solution as well. So some of the parameters which are important to be considered when talking about improvements in the tasks are discussed here. The first one is scripting where we talk about scripting approaches which vary uh, from concept to concept. Be it functional testing, we talk about the integration testing suites or creating an additional framework like data driven or keyword driven. These might involve a lot of parameters or environments to be included, to be considered to have an effective execution. So the you know it's really important that the upgrade of the task scripting approach is uh, well documented and well managed. The approach may be also going to affect the existing automated tests or at least those the involve the greatest amount of maintenance effort. Rather than changing the script approach altogether, the task improvements may focus on the implementation of the script. We may look forward to create or refactor our scripts when working with such things. For example, assess test cases, step procedure overlap in an effort to consolidate automated tests establish an error recovery process for the TAS and SUT, evaluate weight mechanism to ensure that the best type is being used, treat the testware as software, evaluate existing scripts for revisions and elimination. So if you look at these points here that not only helps you to understand that what are the different parameters which we look for but also understand that these are the factors which influence the customization of the script from time to time looking at different kind of issues which you can generally face. In continuation we have different parameters ahead. The test execution. Now we again spoke about these things in the early chapter that it is possible that the regression to a suit which was taking uh, faster or less time earlier now due to certain changes it has taking it is taking more time so it is required for you to analyze them in more detail if you think that the executions are taking longer than the previous it might be possible that your architecture need to be revised at this point of time and Maybe there are certain aspects in your SUT, the updates, the upgrades which has taken place can have a side effect of that. Verification. Before creating any verification function, adopt a set of standard verification methods for use by all automated tests. Generally, we do have inbuilt features of creating a verification step and that would be the best way to create it. But at what point you need to include those verification steps can actually impact your execution. Having it at right point of time, making sure the data is available to be retrieved when you're trying to verify certain steps is the best way to overcome such issues. Architecture, we begin our discussion of this automation test engineer syllabus with architecture where we understood that what need to be done before you can get into executing an automated test. So it's time that you consider the architecture as well one of the parameters when you're talking about having improvements in your automated tests. Sometimes it is important that the architecture may remain good but the SUT might have changed a bit. 
So your old architecture is no longer compatible or able to understand the architecture of SUT. So you may have to add additional inputs or refactor, recreate your scripts to meet the expectations. So from time to time, keep on looking on such things. Further to add, we have pre and post processing steps as well. Now, generally when you talk about pre and post processing, it means uh, setup and teardown. Pre-processing generally stands for setting up your entire thing, like having resources, libraries, script, and several other things to run the test. Whereas the post-processing means the results and the outcomes of the execution, which is equally important to be broken down into simple forms to understand that what exactly went, if there was a failure, what was the core reason for that, and then working on the efficient maintenance of your scripts, which will not say or not only save your cost, but also improvise your the way of execution. Other thing is also talking about documentation, which means that documenting everything, whatever you do or maintaining the scripts would be equally important because that will you can manage the script as well as it's easy to trace certain things and help you understand where could be a flaw. Task features is another aspect where you can say add additional task features and functions such as detailed reporting, logs, integration to other system, etc. Only add features when these all indeed be used. Adding unused features only increases complexity and decreases reliability and maintainability clause. So of course, uh, there are some additional features which would be required to top up with your execution or setup of automation. But at some point of time, you may think that there are features which are not re required at the time of execution. So you can prefer to pull down them from the entire setup because they might be consuming additional time or interacting with unwanted steps which may slow down your reliability parameters, execution time, and also increase the complexity of maintainability. The task updates and upgrades, of course, we know that any tool keeps on having certain updates from time to time. So it is required for a continuous improvement process that you look into what changes have taken place, whether these changes are going to impact your existing automation suites or tests, which will further in turn impact your SUT executions as well. So it's really critical for you to understand what patches have been done, what upgrades or updates have been issued by the tools. And if you're trying to upgrade, first try to analyze what are these changes? Will that impact any area of your automation architecture? If yes, prepare for that and then set up entire thing to meet the expectation. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial with 8.2. So stay tuned for that. Should you have anything beyond this, feel free to comment below to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.